Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the general energies for today. Nuggets, thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Please don't forget to do so. Thank you for your views. They are very much appreciated. It helps the message get out to more people. Um, it grows the channel, of course but it makes your TT feel good, so please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content and other services I provide. Um, please take a look at the store. My store, it is divineme1111 earthsteelstone.bigcartel.com. Um, not only are there some of the jewelry that I sell there, but um, you can also book your personals through there. Virgos, you can get the $10 purchase price of the 30-minute message from me to you. Happy birthday, okay? All right, Nuggets. I don't know about y'all, but these past couple of uh, days... <laughs> have been um, interesting and when I tell you prayers get answered prayers get answered and if you are working diligently on something especially when it comes to working on yourself God is showing you right now the, the, the doors are open right now for you to receive and learn and know and grow right now at this time okay we're getting ready to go into into fall season so yeah very very much this energy is right here for us you know getting us prepared to close things out okay getting us prepared to go into the new year so Yes, I know it is just September and we've got all the way to December, but as you can tell, this year has gone by pretty fast. I don't know about y'all, but 2021 went, went by pretty quickly and 2022 is going to be, uh, um, I am hearing, I just heard the coming out party so take that as it applies for you um but i'm also you know 2022 is is going to be the showstopper and then it's going to expand all right that is what i am getting um our channel song for today is um doesn't really matter by miss janet jackson and what i'm really taking from this right now is it doesn't really matter what um what people say and what they do it has more to do with you know um with you and who you are and getting back to that getting on that um, discovering that allowing yourself to um, be open to discovery of self okay and not being afraid of showing who you are taking you know any kind of initiative to truly embody yourself okay now um, anyone who's been on my channel for any amount of time or uh, been subscribed to me for any amount of time knows that yeah I show my face I'm not hiding anything none of that it uploads fast <laughs> it uploads faster for one and two you know it's very um, it, it's not distracting to me in that you know I, I want to present myself as you know perfectly put together and all that that to me is a distraction so rather than 
doing that and distracting myself from the message we do black screen and then every once in a while I'll I'll pop up so um, it's this this time right now is really about growth transparency truth authenticity and being genuine okay and if you have any questions you can very much contact me inbox me and we'll talk about it and if you want to book a personal again that is there for you all right all right okay so tt music oracle messages let's get it we got one Have Let's Go Crazy by Prince, Lick by Joy, Baby You Caught My Eye by Mint Condition, and under the deck we have Aria by Yanni. Um, the Yanni message, Aria by Yanni, is um for me a, a feeling of getting in tune and um, weaving energies together but you know one this this specific note and tone the other is another specific note and tone but together um, it's very harmonious it's beautiful okay and I'm getting that this was you know some inside work that was done but it also could be um, you understanding your connection with another okay or coming into an understanding with um, working together because of course there's um, if you listen to Yanni and it is spelled Y-A-N-N-I if you listen to Aria by Yanni, okay, Yanni has this, is, you know, very much a creator, and he's an orchestrator, okay, he is a producer, a composer, and the song is um, two women singing, and I want to say they're um, singing in Italian, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they are, and again it is um, two people working together and then the conductor with all of the um, this orchestra of many different um, sounds there's guitars and pianos and um, horns and there's bells and um, not in the particular song but in uh, his music he has um, what's called a didgeridoo and it's a, an instrument from Australia he's there's all different kinds of instruments but all of this different um, all of these different understandings energies notes and tones mixed together and they make something really beautiful so and I'm I'm, I'm getting from this um, the the picture and the image of a couple of uh, a couple of cards actually I'm getting from this the um, the lovers card in the traditional um, Rider weight tarot of um, you know the two beings the two uh, human beings and then the third energy is the spiritual being in the sky so that is one image I'm getting. So, you know, you've made some choices and decisions and uh, understood that you and another are um, working towards a more harmonious and inclusive energy of the third energy, which is God or spirituality. Take it how it resonates for you. The other image I am getting is that of the, um, the three of pentacles. Um, and that's 
three human beings working together. One is sort of um, um, the instructor guide of fishing, and the other two are, you know, kind of coming together to um, coming together to um, work with this third person. But there's still a um, a sort of um, students and teacher kind of dynamic in that for me but it is more grounded it is more 3d it is um, very much working together um, and it can be more than three people but it's um, a coming together and a working together um, 3d wise okay with tangible things all right so there is that so there's there could be that that dynamic okay and um wow so the the let's go crazy and um joy <laughs> and uh baby you caught my eye it's very much you know the the culmination and celebration of <clears throat> excuse me of those three energies uh having come together so you could um oh there could have been an officiant so uh, an officiant um someone could have gotten married okay um there could have been a graduation um getting a new job take it as it applies okay nuggets but today is the the celebration and the um settling in and um seeing things in a new light seeing an energy between the two of you or the group of you in a new light new understanding but very much just like yes okay i have arrived we have arrived we we're here okay all right i like that that's really sweet that's really nice okay oh goodness all right so this one this one all right, so we have a few cards that came out. So let's go ahead and jump in. We have the card number six, Memories of Love. This is the Six of Cups. Card number six, Third Eye. Card number six, Victory and Success. Card number 20, Truth. And card number seven, um, Choose Wisely. So, whew, judgment and the third eye. This is seeing things completely clear. But then we go from those cards to um, choose wisely, which is the seven of cups. The seven of cups is about having many choices in your heart and passions being pulled in many different directions. But those not all the directions are not all of the opportunities are good opportunities so you're being given the the energy to uh and the opportunity to choose what's best for you um for others this is um you having seen some things or seeing some things or coming together with those from um, uh, that you have memories of love and all that fun working together and sharing joyous energy with and seeing that energy from a new perspective seeing it as harmony as coming together as growth as being successful in the actions that you've taken and seeing things from the perspective of truth clarity love and um having many different 
uh, ways of expressing and seeing those things, feeling those things. Okay, under the deck we have card number 17, Hope, and this is the, uh, the star card. Um, the star card is very much about healing things. So this week, um, not this, just this week, but the energy today is about um, having seen some things and having things revealed and healed and going within yourself and getting enlightenment on things is now just like all right i've i've seen that understood it um it brings to mind the memories of you know the good times and how um, we did, you know, move and work together and had joy with each other. And we created those memories. All right, now we're going to move forward because we now have um, clarity and understanding of those things, seeing the things that we needed to see. And we are moving forward triumphantly with our new actions, with our new truth, with our new um, gifts of that we've gained from healing and working on ourselves. The the world is your oyster. I am hearing I'm now don't ask me who this is by. I want to say um Miss Ella Fitzgerald, but if I am wrong, please correct me. Um I am hearing I've got the world on a string. All right. You got the world on a string nuggets. All right. Sitting on a rainbow, got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life. I'm in love. Are you in love, Nuggets? Are you in love? I like it. Okay. All right, we have. Ooh, card number eight, the strength card. This, this, seeing this truth and honesty and um, seeing where your possibilities lie, it's going to require you to, to be strong in what you're moving towards. Um, for some, this could be um, you looking back over some things and looking back over how things evolved and how what you did uh, move on from what you did heal from okay and now you know you can stand up a little straighter God's showing you that you have the strength You've gotten through these things from the past. You can move forward towards anything that comes your way. Under the deck, okay, under the deck we have the Ten of Earth. This is the Ten of Pentacles. You've had to be strong when it comes to um, healing some things of the past, healing um, finances, healing family issues, looking at... Um, healing and working through um, breaking chains breaking the the, the chains of um, tradition healing those things for some this is healing issues with family and you healing that going through that looking at that working on it brings up the memories and the things that were done said acted upon moved in moved towards and you realize that you are stronger than what the um generational um energies and changes and understandings and um, all of those things once were or this is you healing um, healing a, a familial uh, relationship doesn't have to necessarily be blood family this could be um, a work environment you healing from that okay 
so I'm, I'm seeing someone is watching your progress. Someone sees your progress. Someone sees the process that you're that you're going through, or um, what you've gone through, and they're they're observing it. Okay. All right. We have a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries and uh, nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon um as you know there are you know there's some things that are going on in the atmosphere there are a lot of planets that are retrograde right now that are bringing things up to the surface to be cleared for the end of the year um and there will be a few of them that will start to go um that will start to go direct in october and we'll talk more about that um, as they get closer we have a, a full moon in pisces on the 20th so um this is you know this is a lot to do with that energy as well as far as closing out any kind of deeply held wounds deeply held beliefs and um allowing yourself to change um, as soon as um the full moon hits the you know within the next day or so um the moon will be in aries and that's all about initiation starting things over um endings for new beginnings okay under the deck we have you are good enough full moon in virgo well I don't know what else needs to be said about that. You you worked on that. You healed that. You got in a place and space where you understood your um, your gosh. And I know this is starting to become such a cliche, but I'm gonna say it. You understood the work and the assignment of being the the healer, the bringer of. Um, bringer of of truth and guidance and had to be strong in that for some of you 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 got to the understanding that um you are healing not just your um traumas and your um beliefs about yourself or about your past about um for some this is um coming out of um, soul contracts with with other people in order to gain um, a new level of understanding of growth within yourself um, you you had to work on some stuff and you did that because it not only healed you but it heals your bloodline it heals those who um, came before you but it also is healing for those who will come after you. Because when you heal, you can heal all of the craziness of what you went through um, and heal things with those who have, you know, who are no longer in your present. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, passed on loved ones or ancestors or anything of that nature this could just very well be you know someone that you had a falling out with uh years ago and you worked on healing that for yourself you put that work in for yourself so now you are able to be the uh, the the healer in those who come after you you are the example okay for those who come after you you learning that uh, learning your place learning your your position among you know not just again not just family but 
um, whoever is in your environment, you learning that um, your place in space and exactly who you are is quite enough. You are now being uh, given this opportunity to explore to become more, to see your truth, to heal and move forward. It's all its all a cycle. Absolutely, it's all a cycle. None of us are perfect. None of us are um, um, the... None of us are perfect, but none of us are absolutely wrong either. Okay? It is just doing and seeing things understanding life in this journey from your perspective but also being in a place of understanding and um, grace for another's perspective you may not always see eye to eye but you there is a common ground in that everybody's gone through something everybody's learning and um we all have the choice to um, do what is best for for us, okay? Lots of messages, healing and understanding, moving forward. I like this. It's very nice, you know. Um, it doesn't always have to be... Um, fire and brimstone okay we have card number four badger spirit be fearless and bold what's coming up it, you're not going to know yourself you've changed and healed so much and you're going to give yourself the, the permission to be exactly who you are called to be I like this nuggets I do under the deck we have card number 17 crow spirit co-create with spirit your spirit guides your ancestors God big brother Jesus you had to be taken through all of that for the purpose of growing you And in growing you and you taking on this job, this gift, this responsibility of doing the work, not just for you, it is the job of doing so for the growth and strengthening of those who come after you. We are the ancestors. We are the new ancestors. So... Um, and what you've gained, what you've learned, what you know, show somebody else. Okay. Uh, for some, this is, um, coming together with, um, a group of others and doing so for the benefit of, um, growing, sharing, um, realizing and understanding you're not alone you're not by yourself and you are free and safe to move how you need to for you okay we have well and orca elders this is this is ancestor stuff for me as well um share your song frequency of sound dive deep um, it's not only that it is also um, deep communication okay deep and heartfelt communication from a place of strength from a place of love okay we have uh, your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability we have the power to make the choices that we need to and want to for our benefit but it's also um, there to um, 
for you to be the example of taking charge of your own life and others are capable and able of um, you showing them that they can do the very same okay last we have trust the timing trust the way you came in on time is not running out whatever it is that you are deciding on doing today whatever it is that you um, have put the healing time and work into you have the tools and um, you're not late you're not late everything happens in divine timing trust that I'm not just talking to y'all I'm talking to me too under the deck we have earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature you putting in the work taking yourself out of the out of the frenzy out of the um, um, monkey mind of I gotta I have to it, it needs to be this it has to be like this or um, all of the the um, things that were a part of a family dynamic or the tradition or a um, a work environment that was you know weighing you down and um, trying to um, get in your spirit for the purpose of you know being a weight it's no longer a weight it's no it's no longer heavy it's no longer a burden it's um, a badge of honor and a privilege you worked on it you've seen it for what it was and now you are being given the opportunity to move forward how you want to and to choose for yourself what you want to have, what you want to be, what you want to do. It's all up to you now. You are free to do so. What are you going to do with this opportunity? What are you going to do with this second, third, fourth, however many chances this is for you? What you going to do with that? All right, Nuggets. I'm going to leave it there. The signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time aquarius virgo aries leo scorpio gemini all right all right nuggets i love you i love you from my soul and i send you all blessings and light take care